We're going to meet a guy about a guitar. I just thought we'd get some donuts. Play a little Nintendo 3DS on the way. Hi, hello, I'm Patrick. Hi, how are you? Right on. So we got this uh, Japanese guitar? Yep, so it's uh, showing on the screen there. So this is uh, probably mid-1970s heater, which is, you know, the Japanese had a lot of weird brand names at this time, but we've even seen a Japanese guitar called a Boeing, but this is actually, um, if you sort of see the interior there. So the heater brand, this was a local label um, out of Portland from about 1918 to 1986. They had uh, their own different kinds of musical instruments that they sold and then they became an uh, importer for Japanese guitars. In the Pacific Northwest, one of the brands that you see that's really common are Lyle. Okay. And so that was something that exclusively came out of Peter and they're really well known, really well regarded. Yes. They had um, like knockoffs of Gibson Hummingbirds and things like this. So I picked this up actually, someone picked this up for me and Portland was in pretty good shape. Oh. Did a little bit of um, work on it, cleaned up the frets and fretboard, it was pretty dirty. Um, Worked on it, put in a, a, a bone saddle. A, a saddle, excuse me, a bone saddle here. It had an old, you know, as usual, had an old plastic one. Kind of interesting. Something that's usually a tip off on the mid 70s Japanese guitars is they have these big screws, which are, you know, seem kind of odd, and I think for many people, maybe not aesthetic, but they were ways that you could adjust the saddle, whereas nowadays you have those plastic saddles in there, you don't like them, you gotta sand down the saddle and that sort of thing. I, I think it was a really neat innovation. I kinda sorry they got rid of it. Otherwise I think it's in really good shape. It's got really nice purpling on the back, which you don't I think often see on um, Japanese guitars this time because they were usually trying to kind of save save costs. So it's got some actually I think some pretty nice detail on here for uh, you know for a guitar from this time period. So it probably wasn't their entry level market, it was probably um, a step up from that. But so that's yours now. Alright. So I got the adoption papers and everything for you, so good to go. This is not a scene from a horror movie. My daughter was painting and got a little sloppy. That's what happened with kitchen tables when your daughter's painting, right? Well, yeah, it's got a pick holder on there. I don't care about that. All right, a couple gum labels. Oh, there is the model number again. H220J. 220J. This one say that one is not legible, but it probably said made in Japan. <laughs> 